All right. So I haven't done an update in a little bit. This is now um, exactly two weeks after my L3 through L5 lumbar surgery and laminectomies, two levels. Um, so the last time I think I did the video was maybe five or six days ago. And since then, I don't know, a lot has happened, but, but maybe not. It's kind of hard to kind of put it all down in words, but... Um, you know, last, this is now Monday night. And last, I think it was Wednesday, my back was feeling pretty good. Actually, I think I went through that day without taking any pain meds whatsoever. And that was just eight or nine days after the surgery. And, you know, I've seen a lot of people who have posted and walking, you know, really long distances and that sort of thing. And what I've been trying to do is walk shorter distances around the house. I have a pretty good length to walk kind of just in the backyard and, and that sort of thing. Um, Wednesday, I didn't take any meds and I was kind of bumping it up to where just looking at my steps throughout the day, I think I walked about a mile and a half, um, just moving around the house plus a few walks, you know, outside that weren't very long. Um, and then, you know, Wednesday night, Thursday hit, and I had a lot of pain. So it could have been normal variation plus um, overdoing it, but um, yeah, I definitely didn't feel as good. So I started back on the pain meds, and what I've been doing since that time really is, you know, I've got Norco. I only take one pill when I take it. I don't take two. And I don't take it every four hours. It's probably on average every, you know, like six or seven sometimes, sometimes even longer. And since that day, I've controlled it pretty well. And like today, my back felt, you know, all right. Although these last few days, I cut down on the walking. So now I've been walking, you know, again, just counting everything that I do, walking around the house, that sort of stuff. Um, kind of in the 0.7 mile to one mile range, um, which isn't a lot when you think about just kind of moving throughout the day. But I think I just had overdone it. And maybe like, un unlike other people and other videos um, that I've seen, I mean, one of my problems even pre-surgery was, was walking because I had a lot of foot involvement, um, especially my right leg and foot and a little bit of my left foot. Um, so, of course, part of me wished that that would all resolve right after the surgery, but that's just not the case. Um, so walking was an issue beforehand. So realistically, I probably shouldn't have expected to walk much right after the surgery, after all the nerves were aggravated. Um, so like today, for example, I mean, I do feel like my walking is a little bit better. I have odd feelings in my feet and especially my, my right leg, but definitely the top of my feet, you know, the L4, L5 kind of stuff, a little bit underneath the feet um, has been kind of messed up for many months now. Um, today, at times, did it feel a little bit better? Maybe. Um, it's hard to say, but I thought maybe in some ways it felt a tiny bit better, but it still doesn't feel right. And I think that's going to take a long time to resolve or how, however much of it resolves. Um, that's, I just have to be patient. I think that's going to take months. Um, but otherwise, again, my, my, back. The wound is fine. Um, I have a little bit of stiffness and pain in the back, but it's very doable. I can move around okay. Um, sitting is still a problem. So I try to sit in such a way where I can prop my arms up and take the, the pressure off my spine or sit up a little bit with my legs, almost like I'm squatting over the chair or at least putting a little pressure on my, on my quads to take some of that pressure off my spine. Um, but, you know, in general, I'm, I, mean, I think back to two weeks ago, I mean, I'm definitely better in that regard. I just have to be patient with this nerve stuff and hope it clears, or at least most of it clears. If it really clears up a decent amount, I think I'll be fine. I'll get used to the odd feelings here and there. I just need it to be better than what it is now because it really is kind of debilitating. Um, again, pain meds, just kind of using those lightly. Um, and it's really helped control things. Uh, I do take the muscle relaxer at night sometimes to help with sleep. Um, so yeah, I think I'm on the right track. So 
This Thursday, so in three days, I'll be seeing my surgeon for the little after two week follow up to kind of check in. Uh, I'll get some x rays either that morning or maybe I'll go in Wednesday just to get those done so I don't have to do all that stuff in one shot on Thursday. Um, make sure all the hardware is in the right place. Um, you know, I think I've been pretty careful as far as like getting up and doing the log roll technique and all that stuff. So I'd be surprised um, if the hardware was all over the place. I think I'd probably feel it. Um, but I'll get it checked out just to make sure that that's all looking good and then see what my surgeon has to say. So that'll be really interesting. So all I can say is so far it has been a little bit of a roller coaster. You know, other people have talked about that. Um, and really, I don't think you can totally prepare for it until you go through it. And, you know, I think I'm kind of riding that roller coaster now. Um, just, again, trying not to bend, you know, part of me, because I'm feeling a little bit better, I, you know, I want to do things, I want to clean the house, I want to do stuff like that, and I just, I just can't. Um, you have to be really careful and kind of fight those urges and just make sure you don't, you know, fall into a situation where you're not, you know, really thinking specifically about it and you're feeling pretty good and you kind of reactively do something that you would normally do. You just have to put the brakes on all that. And one thing, you know, you, people talk about what, what things you need around the house. Um, those little grabbers where you can, you know, it's kind of a, an extension of your arm where you can pick up things. Um, that has been incredibly valuable. I mean, that, that allows me to do a lot of things and it, it just prevents me from bending or even the temptation of, of bending for something. It just makes it so much easier. So go out and get one of those and get them on Amazon for, I don't know, 20 bucks or something. And they work great. So it, that's, that's a must have for sure. So I'll provide another update maybe in a few days after I see the surgeon and take a look at those x-rays and kind of see where I'm at. All right, until then.